Okay, we have official announcement that Hisuian Voltorb is going to be in the Legends of Arceus game, which is really cool. I think it's got a great cool typing with the electric grass, and I like the way that it looks. It's a little kind of blocky looking, and it's got the wood at the bottom. I think it's a really cool take on a Voltorb slash Electrode. So let's go ahead and do this video, get into it, and take a look here. You can see it is the Hisuian Voltorb Sphere Pokemon Electric Grass type. Height is 1.8, and it is 28.7 pounds. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at stats and resistances and all of those kinds of things. Now, keep in mind that these stats are probably going to change. The resistances I have here should be the accurate resistances based off of its electric and grass typing. It's essentially the same as uh, Rotom, uh, Motom, except that it doesn't have Levitate to nullify ground completely. Uh, however, it should be about the same with the, the weaknesses and resistances, which is Poison, Bug, Fire, and Ice. It's all going to be uh, two times weak against steel, water, grass, and electric, it's all going to be resistant against the electric being a 75% uh, a, a resistance, so one-fourth the damage. Now the stats are going to change just a little bit based off of the new game. Uh, the variants always have a little bit of a changeover. Uh, sometimes it's relatively drastic and sometimes it's so minor it's like five IVs here, five IVs there. So it could be something very, very small, but you can see the stats spread for the Voltorb here. HP 40, attack 30, defense 50, special attack 55, special defense 55, and speed 100. Speed has always been this Pokemon's pride and joy, and I don't see that going down a lot. Maybe, you know, 10 IVs or something like that, but it's definitely not going to bottom out at like 50 or something. Okay, so we went over a brief little overview for the Voltorb. Let's actually look at Electrode, where we're going to be able to actually start making some builds for... Uh, so the Electrode, obviously the stats can be a little better than the Voltorbs. HP 60, Attack 50, Defense 70, Special Attack 80, Special Defense 80, and Speed 150. So it's super fast, and uh, that is going to lend a lot of credence to some of the moves that you are able to use coming up. Now, I don't see the speed stat really diminishing in the Legends uh, Arceus game with the Hisuian variant. So maybe a little bit lower. I don't think it's going to go any faster either because that would be pretty crazy. But uh, that 150 is a great stat for you to have. Now, if you look at the weaknesses again, it is going to be weak against Poison, Bug, Fire, and Ice. And those are all a 2x uh, weakness. But it is going to be resistant to Steel, Water, Grass, and Electric. All of those are going to be reduced by 50%, except for electric, which is actually going to be a one-fourth resistance. So you're only going to take one-fourth of the total damage. So that's actually a really nice resistance for you. Please just keep in mind these stats are reflective of the Cantonian version, as we do not have the information out for the Hisuian version yet. However, the resistances should be on point. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the first move pull for the Electrode here. And there are some interesting mechanics that are in Legends of Arceus that I think might make this Pokemon really, really good, especially based off its possible speed stat. So, in some of the gameplay trailers, they've talked about how, depending on your speed stat or the moves that you've used, your Pokemon may be able to go more than one time in a row. So, if you have... And there are items, this is assuming that there's items that you can equip to your Pokemon. If you have something like a choi Choice Scarf attached to this very high speed Pokemon, you might be able to ninja out a bunch of different moves at a fast pace and destroy whatever it is that you're fighting. So this first move pool here, we are going to focus on Special Attack and Speed. 252 into Special Attack and 252 into Speed. HP is where I threw the other four. Um, it is whatever. I'm assuming that there's going to be EV trading in this in this upcoming game. As far as our nature, we're going to be looking for a timid nature. And again, we could either use a choice scarf or a life orb, assuming those are in the game. Choice scarf will be really nice because that's going to just put your speed stat in some other kind of crazy tier. And you'll be able to go faster than almost anything and hopefully be able to go several times in a row. Now, as far as the moves, again, we don't know exactly what the move pool is. We can kind of tell that some of the moves should come over from the Cantonian version. That's where we're getting Volt Switch and your Thunderbolts and stuff. However, the Energy Ball that I have on here, I swear that in one of the videos for the Voltorb, you can see the Voltorb using the Energy Ball move. Now, maybe I'm off my rocker. Maybe that's something else. But I believe that that is the Grass-type Energy Ball attack at 90 power. So for this move pool, we are going to utilize a lot of stab bonus. Volt Switch at 70 power. Thunderbolt or Thunder. 
So you either do a 90 or a 110 power damage attack. Keep in mind, Thunder is going to have that accuracy check. Energy Ball, which is our other stab bonus at 90 power. And then at the fourth tier, you can do kind of whatever you want. You could either use something like a Taunt to make sure that they can't do any kind of setup moves or anything, or a Thunder Wave to paralyze and give yourself even more of a speed advantage. It depends on your playstyle and what you would like to do. However, I like having that Bolt Switch as a pivot and so on and so forth. So we've got a lot of damaging moves here and we're really focusing on that speed stat. Okay, the second set here is going to be a little bit more of a traditional set for the Electro, just a little bit, not completely, but a little bit more of a traditional set. We're gonna go work on some of its bulk. It's got pretty low bulk here, so we're gonna kind of give it a little bit more beefiness so it can continue to use some setup moves. We're gonna do 128 EVs into both defense and special defense, and then 252 into HP. So that's going to allow us to have, be able to take a little bit more damage uh, than we normally would with this Pokemon. Now, the nature we're going to work on is bold, because again, we're doing our kind of bulkier set here, and we are going to give it the light clay. We're giving it light clay because we have our screens up on this build. So you can see we've got reflect and light screen both on this support type uh, electrode, and then we're going to have either uh, taunt or energy ball. So taunt is kind of the traditional way to go here, but I do like having the option of having that new stab bonus energy ball. And if the energy ball is not in it, we'll figure out a different one to kind of supplement in there uh, once we have that information. But right now, I swear I saw energy ball, so that's what I'm putting down. And then we do have volt switch in here because again, not only is it stab, but it is going to allow us to pivot out of the battle when we really need to. So this is more of a traditional set. The other one I think is going to be a little bit better for Legends Arceus because of certain mechanics that we talked about previously with uh, being able to go multiple times in a row and everything. However, this is always an option and a viability for the Electro. All in all, with the new Hisuian variant, this is going to add a lot to the game. Plus, Arceus has its own mechanics that they're, they're, they're doing for battling and You've got your different forms of fighting and the speed tiers that make you move more than once. And it's, it's going to be a really cool, interesting game. And for Pokemon that are super, super fast, I'm really excited to see what they're going to do and how they're going to be used and <clears throat> how much you can break the game with them. It's going to be very interesting, and I cannot wait for this game to come out. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Like and subscribe. Definitely comment down below if you liked this kind of content. Uh, this preemptory, it's coming out. We don't know exactly what it's going to have, so we're theorizing a little bit. Let me know if this is something I should do more for you guys. Otherwise, thank you for hanging out. I do always appreciate it, and I hope to see everybody in the next video. But until then, take care.